Okay, let's go through what is QFD. QFD is a quality function deployment for the name. Okay, so what is quality? Quality is the meeting the customer requirement. Meaning is this one. Function, what must be done? So you are focusing the attention. Deployment is focused for who will do it and then when you will be do it. Okay, nah, so this one is the words explanation by words. So what is QFD? So it's a method. It's a method for developing a design quality. So for satisfying the customer. And then we translating the customer demand into a design target. And the measure Q&A point to be used throughout the production phase. So what is the comprehensive process for reaching customer satisfaction? So we will focus on this one. Focus the process. So it's a method. So it's also is a systematic way to define winning business. So for like business model, production and service. Okay, so basically it's a method. Lah. Okay, so the origin, so from the Japanese, Japanese words. So this one, so quality, function, mechanism, deployment. Okay, development and uh, evolution. How do we understand the quality that our customer expect and make it happen in a dynamic way? Okay, so this one is a bit of history. So actually, this one, this person is the founder. So develop it in Japan, 1966. So it's a method for developing a design quality, satisfied customer, translating customer demand into design target. Yeah. So it's the uh is a way assure the design quality and to pro products is still in the design stage. This one is focused at the design stage. So what is the history of QFD? The history. So after the person start to implement this one, so this one is the years. Okay, implement in the beginnings from Japan, so Toyota, so they achieved that managed to reduce the startup cost 20%, 38% reduction in the cost, and so on until start to implement in USA. Okay, so what is the main goal of the QFD? So we want to prioritize the spoken and unspoken customer needs. So we want to translate this one into a technical characteristic and specifications. We want to build and deliver a quality products or service by focus for everybody towards the customer satisfaction. Okay, this is the target. So what is the QFT team? This one. So focus on design, marketing also got, production, purchase, quality okay this is the qft team they will focus on this one two three four five okay next benefits we can reduce the products development time can design design cycle time can be shortened up so reduce the time to the market start up engineering costs by reduce so to this percentage so focus on customer needs. We can be useful for gathering customer requirement. So this one is the benefits. So all information we can gather and ready to apply. Okay, nah? Next, what is the benefit of QAD? Again, so we managed to reduce, uh, not reduce the warranty fields, reduce the cost, Reduce the reworks, enable understanding of competitors, concurrent engineering, so design quality improve. So, and the products improve the products. Okay, this one basically also is a benefit. Okay, 
So what is the first step by step for the QFT? So we get ready with the customer requirements and then products characteristics. What is the characteristics for your products like PDS? So the part characteristics, the process and until production control. Okay, this is the sum of the phase we will be focused. Yeah. Okay, so we are so target for the customer, right? Customer requirement. So we call voice of customer. So it's a represent the requirement of the customer. So it's a technique to record every requirement expressed by the customer. Okay, and uh, take a decision. So what is the customer one? Customer needs. The source of information for finding out customer requirement. Where is the source? You can do marketing survey from the public customer. So information from the sales team, from the sales team also, sales service through the surface, we get the information. Testing in the lab, feedback and complaints. This one all we can get the customer requirement. So when you do the marketing survey, you can pick from these six, okay? Okay, problems. They also got some problems. If all the relational metrics combine into a single deployment, later on we will combine all the metrics, the size of the each combine would be very large. After combine, maybe it's too big. So this one is a quantitative method, okay? Can be quantity, quite a lot. So from the voice of customer, many of answer that customer give are difficult to categorize. You don't know which categorize, okay? Their voice, their feedback. It can be difficult to determine the connection between the customer demand and the technical properties. So very hard to determine the connection between the customer. So this one also is a, our challenge, okay? And QFT cannot apply to everything, okay? It's not everything, but mostly the engineering products can be applied, okay? So our target is to translate the voice of customer into the design requirement and meet the specific target value and match again how the organization will meet this requirement, how to meet for that. Okay, so this one is the QFD, the house. Okay, so the most important will be at here. Okay, so exterior wall, customer requirement, it will be put at here. Okay, number two here, customer requirement. Ceiling and the second floor, technical description. This is the technical description. Okay, this one is a relationship in the technical. That means the engineer, how you can do it. Interior walls, this one, at the center. It's a relationship between the customer and the technical. So number two and above, their relationship put at number six. Put at number six. The roof, okay, the roof is the inter-relationship between technical description. So number four is the put in the competitive analysis, okay, from the competitive competitors. Number eight is the, is the analysis, we got a numbers for analysis, okay. So far, okay or not? <laughs> 